Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial here on TradingView, how to connect TradingView to TradeStation. Uh, this is one of the more uh, commonly or frequently asked questions. Uh, the question is how do I connect TradeStation to TradingView? And what is the purpose of that? Why would anybody want to do that? Well, there are a couple of reasons why you'd want to do that. Uh, number one is that TradingView actually does provide a little bit better charting than TradeStation web. Uh, this is actually directed mostly to the web users of TradeStation. Uh, we know that if you're on a Mac, you don't have the desktop platform that's available on Windows. So you might want to use an alternative trading or, or rather charting uh, software or platform. So TradingView uh, fits that bill. This is good for people who trade just uh, straight uh, stocks and shares. You cannot actually do any options trading on TradingView, but let's see how we connect that. I am looking at TradingView. I've already logged in over here. I have one of the free accounts and this is available at that level. You can do it without having to pay premium for it. The first thing you want to do is uh, navigate or rather become familiar with this uh, trading panel. Let me see if I can get some tools down here. Uh, no, yeah, trading panel. So trading panel is the is the one two three four fifth icon or fifth link at the very bottom of your screen when you're looking at trading view that's what you want to bring up so click one time on it and you are presented with a menu of choices of available platforms to connect to so notice here that you can do paper trading which is very common a lot of people do that uh, some people use Tradovert, uh, which is also another common uh, platform for trading. But the one that we're interested in today is TradeStation. So TradeStation, a lot of you are familiar with it. All you need to do is click connect and you've got two choices, right? One is live. Do you want to connect to your live platform or do you want to connect to your demo platform? Demo, as all uh, of us know, that is the SIM application. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to the demo application for this particular exercise. Uh, but in real uh, world, you probably want to connect to live if you're planning on using that one. And then you can either choose to remember or not remember me by checking this box. So the purpose of that is that every time you log into TradingView, do you want to log into your trade station? If that is a plan, then leave that one unchecked. Once you're comfortable with making a choice, whether live or demo, go ahead and click continue. And it's going to ask you to log into your trade station. Now I had already logged into my trade station SIM and that is why it uh, immediately logged me in. But if you had not logged into your SIM platform, it would have asked you to log into your SIM. So you can see that I already have a trade. It pulled in my trades. And I can see that uh, I shorted Apple here. I am up $11 from this morning. And this was just an example trade. So how do I use this uh, feature that we just added? How, wh wh what is it good for? Right now, I am looking at the chart for Square. We're going to use this as an example. Right? So assuming that you've done your charting, you've done your order enhancers, and you want to, you're ready to make a trade for Square. Right now it's trading at $206. All I would need to do is just right click and trade. And I can either sell or buy. Another way to trade is to click this icon on the right side that says order panel. Hopefully you can see that on the, on the very right side. Uh, second from the very bottom and that's the one that I actually prefer to use so I click one time on it and it brings up my order panel I'm going to get some of these things out of the way uh, that and let's take a look what can I do here I can buy or sell right buy or sell so I want to buy uh, square at two hundred and six dollars and forty six cents Right. I am going to buy 10 shares of that. And I'm also going to do what we call a take profit order. Right. So take profit. I'm interested in the price, not the pips here, but the price. And I want to take profit at this is just a hypothetical 
uh, hypothetical number here, I want to take profit at $235. And like any good trader, you always have to have a stop loss. So I'm going to check the box for stop loss. And I am going to suggest to trading view and trade station that if price drops to say 200 and I'm going to go down here to 200, just 200. And the reason I pick 200 is because I can see from the charting here that, and I'm looking over here, that it had dropped to about 200 and we set our target profit here to 235. This is a, this is a zone right there. This is a seller zone right there. All right, so we're going to review the order. Let's see how it looks like. We are sending an order to buy at 206. We are taking profit at $235. We have a stop loss at 200. Okay, and I want time in force here to change that from day to GTC. Right, the reason I choose GTC is so that my stop loss can actually work uh, anytime after today okay and it can take a, a little while for this order to mature to go from 206 to 235 so we also want our stop loss to be in place reviewing the order let's take a look and i'm going to press this blue button right here and estimated money impact is for main order only that is fine and look at that we just sent an order here for uh, to buy 10 of SQ. Now, to verify that it actually went through, I'm going to go to my web trading platform and look at that. That order has been entered. It looks like, like right now I'm losing about $2, but that's fine. It's going to go up, hopefully. Yeah, yes, I think it will go up. And so we can manage the order. Let's see also what our orders here are showing so I am showing that I have a sell order here for 235 which is my take a profit order and I also have my stop loss my stop market order for 200 so that is how you connect trade station to trading view or vice versa if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below by all means go ahead and click like subscribe all those kind of good stuff thank you for watching Bye-bye.